How long have you been learning English? What do you do for a living? Could you answer these two questions without your mind going blank or freezing up? Well, in this lesson, you're going to learn how to ask and answer 10 super common questions that come up when you meet someone new. So the next time you meet someone, you can communicate confidently and make a great first impression. What's up, everyone? I'm Carter from What's Up English. Now, to learn how to ask and answer these questions, first, we'll go through each question one by one. And for each question, I'll give you two or three different answers so you can choose the answer that suits you best. There will be some green words in those answers, so you can change those words to whatever you want. For example, in this sentence, you can change Hanoi to your hometown. After we finish practicing, we'll have a conversation where you will use the language that you just learned. Don't skip this part because it will make it easier for you to use what you learned in the future in a real conversation. And as usual, to make sure that you remember what you learned in this video, there's a PDF in the description. So all you need to do is click the link in the description, put in your email, and then I will send it to your email. And on this PDF, you will have uh, each question, all the answers, the Vietnamese translations, and the IPA transcriptions if you're not sure how the pronunciation works. All right, so let's get started with the first question, which is, are you from around here? Are you from around here? Now, the two answers for this question could be, yeah, Hanoi is my hometown. I grew up here. You can change Hanoi to whatever your hometown is. Or, no, I'm from Haizung. It's about 80 kilometers from here. Like how many kilometers away that place is from where you are now. All right, question number two is, how long have you been learning English? How long have you been learning English? Now, you can hear when I say the word been, native speakers, we say been. How long have you been learning English? Answer A, not too long. I started learning English six months ago. So here, of course, you can change that number as long as it's not too long of a time. Not too long. I started learning a year ago, two years ago, six months ago. Or answer B, quite a while. I've been learning English for about five years. All right, question number three is, what do you do for a living? What do you do for a living? For answer A, you could say, I work in marketing. Or I work in whatever industry you're in. I work in marketing. I work in accounting. I work in advertising. I work in logistics. B, I'm a job name. So for example, I'm an accountant. I'm a teacher. So the difference with these is if you're a teacher, but you don't want to say I'm a teacher, you could say I work in education. Now, if you want to be more specific, you can say your job. I'm a teacher. Answer C, if you don't work, you can say I don't work. I'm still a student or I'm still studying. All right, so question number four is, have you ever been abroad? Have you ever been abroad? So this question means, have you ever been outside of Vietnam? You could say, A, yep, I went to Thailand a few years ago. So you can say, yep, it's a way to say, yeah, it sounds friendly. And then I went to place and then give a bit more information, like a few years ago, last month, a few months ago. Or B, no, not yet, but I really want to go to Europe. So instead of just saying no, you can add more information again. No, not yet, but I really want to go to place. All right, question number five is, are you married? People will often ask this question. So again, here are three answers. Answer A, yes, I am. I've got number kids. Yes, I am. I've got two kids. I've got three kids. Now, remember, if you have no kids, you don't have to add that piece of information. No, but I have a girlfriend or boyfriend. Answer C. No, I'm not. Keeping it simple. All right. So those were five questions that people might ask you 
when you first meet them. And here are five questions that you could ask them. Now, keep in mind, all 10 of these questions, someone could ask you or you could ask them. I've just divided it to make it a little bit easier to follow. All right, so question six, if you see a foreigner or a tourist looking a bit confused on the street and you want to help them, you could say, can I help you with anything? Can I help you with anything? So they might say, yes, please. Could you help me with thing, right? Or B, no thanks, I'm okay. So to tell you a little bit about culture and mindset of a lot of tourists and foreigners, if you ask to help them, a lot of them will say no simply because they're not sure if you're trying to scam them or not. Because many tourists who come here are told to watch out for scams and that people who approach you might try to scam you. So if somebody just rejects your offer for help, don't take it personally. They might just be a little bit uh, on guard. All right, so let's go to question number seven, which is, do you work here or are you just traveling? So let's say you're talking with the foreigner, you start a bit of a conversation, you could ask, do you work here or are you just traveling? Now, they could answer, A, I'm just traveling for a few weeks. So we could say, for time. I'm just traveling for a few weeks. Or B, I work here. I'm an engineer. I'm a an job title. All right, so question number eight. How long have you been in Vietnam? How long have you been in Vietnam? So again, the word been, we say like been. How long have you been in Vietnam? So how to answer this question? You could say, I've been here for two weeks. I've been living here for five years. So we could say, I've been here for, if you're here for a short time. But if they live in that place, or if you live abroad, like in Japan or Australia, you could say, I've been living here for number of years. All right, question number nine. What do you think about Vietnam? What do you think about Vietnam? So many people have asked me this question, right? And so here is one answer. Answer A, so far, I love it. The people are friendly and the food is great. So if you talk to a tourist, maybe they'll be super excited like, oh, I love it. It's so amazing. Now, if you ask someone who has been there for a long time, their opinion might be a little more detailed. So answer B, I like it, but the traffic can be a bit crazy. I like it, but the traffic can be a bit crazy. Okay, so question number 10. Have you been to many places in Vietnam yet? Have you been to many places in Vietnam yet? So again, many people ask me this question and one way to answer is, yeah, I've been to all the major cities. I've been to all the major cities. Or B, not yet. I plan to travel down south soon. All right, guys, so those were the 10 questions. But now let's go to a conversation where you can practice what we just learned. So I'm going to be kind of a confused foreigner that's uh, looking a bit lost, and you're going to help me. All right, let's get started. Yes, please. Is this restaurant any good? Okay, thanks. Are you from around here? Well, first I traveled around Vietnam for a bit, but then I decided to live and work here. I'm a manager at a software company. How about you? Oh, really? Well, your English is pretty good. How long have you been learning it? For sure. It's beautiful there. Have you ever been abroad?
It's fantastic. The traffic is a little bit crazy, but the people are really friendly and the food is delicious. Same to you. See you later. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Remember, everything we learned today is in the PDF, so make sure to download that. And if you want to learn some common idioms to help you add more feeling into your English, then make sure to watch this video to learn some idioms I hear and use all the time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful, and I will see you in the next video. See you later.